there. Matt Barnes will take over out of the mound for the Red Sox. Barnes has saved four. Basically, he's taken over the closer's role with Brandon Workman being traded to the Phillies. And JT Romuto will lead it off. He's 0 for 3. He's flat out to right. He's grounded out a couple of times. DH today. He'll catch game two. He'll catch Velasquez in game two. Fielders on the left side of the diamond. The outfield playing straight away, fairly deep in center and left. And Barnes delivers wide. It's 1 0. Verdugo's the only one really not deep. Outside, and it's 2 0. Uh, get a base runner. Yeah, there's no doubt that Barnes has the stuff to be a closer, but sometimes stuff doesn't always equate to getting three outs in the last inning. JT, 10 home runs. Three and up. 10 home runs in 35 games that tied Stan Lapata. For the fewest games to reach 10 home runs for a Phillies catcher. Swinging? I say take it. I am too. And ball four. Base runner for the Phillies. A leadoff walk, and it brings Segura up. Barnes is slow to home plate. See if JT might try to try to catch him out there and try to steal a bag. Paco is whispering to JT right now. The third baseman Devers is even with the bag. I don't see Gene Bunning. Like to see him bunt and JT to third. Yes. Who could steal the base? I think in that case, you let Segura hit him. Really good at hitting the ball the other way. Two for three against Barnes. Five in a row out of the strike zone. Wasn't a strike last inning. Wow. That was off the plate. It's one ball, one strike. He throws five in a row out of the strike zone. That's where it's frustrating, especially a middle infielder who can see what the strike zone is. Yes. And he knew Hector wasn't getting that pitch. Hector's were closer. Yeah, and then you get that one. Ball one strike. Two and one.
breaking ball and that drops in two and two. Last time the pitch was called a strike Segura asked twice if home plate umpire was sure that time I think everybody was sure. Yeah that was center cut. But, you know when a guy. Not throwing a ton of strikes you kind of got to give him that one. Two and two. Swing and a miss. And Segura strikes out one away here in the seventh inning. And now D.D. Gregorius. Yeah, Barnes just, yeah, the fastball command is not good, so he went to the breaking ball two and one to Segura to get the two two, and then he throws another one to get the swing and miss. Now, if you're D.D., Set breaking ball for a couple pitches. Maybe. Three free with three walks against Barnes. He's already homer today. He has scored two of the four runs for the Phils. And he takes the strike. Paisley's out on deck. That's Goslin's spot. The balls and two strikes. One and two. To the right side. That'll leak in the right field of base hit. Real Muto around second, heading to third. The throw by Verdugo is offline. And the Phillies have first and third with one man down. Excellent base running by JT. Now we say it a lot, Tom, about the, both of our catchers can run. And JT is the fastest catcher in baseball. I mean, that ball was hit relatively hard. Well, it gets through. Verdugo has a great arm, but I mean, it's not really close at third base. JT, great instincts, great turn at second base, and now we got something cooking. Well, the Phillies have been good at that situation this year, John. 61% of the time, they've gotten the runner uh, from first to third, to advance to third. And they've been good in these spots too. With less than two outs. And runners at third base. Trying to get the tying run home and force an extra inning game. And maybe get the winning run home and send everybody home happy for 40 minutes. I'm hearing you there. Red Sox are down to two mound visits. And Hazley is up for the first time. Hitting 250. The home runs, three runs batted in. Outside, 1 0. JT's the tying run. He's most important. Yeah, you like to see JT get off, but you know, the, the last thing you want is. Adam to hit a hard line drive to an outfielder and JT not be able to get back in time to tag up. So you got to give a little bit here if you're JT. Yeah, the 1 0 up 
Stairs 2 and 0. Oh. Take their lead in the 2 0 pitch. Breaking ball high, 3 0. Hey, Vasquez right now just trying to find something that Barnes can throw consistently for a strike. Hey, 2 0, Adam Hazley's hitting his first at bat of the day, and you're throwing him a 2 0 breaking ball. And strikes from Barnes. 18th pitch of the inning. It's three balls and one strike to Hazley. Yeah, the pitch. Breaking ball in there. Top of the zone. Three and two. Strike zone definitely has a different personality here in the seventh inning. Yeah, it's. Oh, this is the frustrating part as, as a hitter. Infield now comes in as time is called. Ron Renicki has been walking all around the dugout. He's now on the stairwell for the Red Sox. Interesting, I guess with, with, with two strikes, they think that Adam might just try to play Pepper and try to hit a ground. I, I don't get this moving in with two strikes. But yeah, now you've opened up a lot more holes. Yeah, anything hit hard on the ground, unless it's at you, it's a hit. Runner goes from first, pitches hit in the air, foul off the third base bag and out of the reach of Devers. Continues to play in. It's three and two with one out. Runners at first and third. Didi goes again, and the pitch is a called strike three. Hazley lets it go by. Two outs, and it's left to ball. Just gonna pull the trigger. No, we could not. Yeah, I understand he's throwing 97, but you know, he threw him a couple breaking balls up that really easy to hit in the air. All right, so now it's left to ball. Yeah, base hit wins. He's got two RBIs already today. He's got two hits today. And now here's where JT can get a little more aggressive. A ball bounces, of course. Barnes hadn't thrown nothing below the waist yet, but if he does bounce one, it gets past Vasquez any at all. JT should be able to walk home. Good lead for Didi off second two. Inside one and zero. Oh. Is there a mindset to be careful with Bone here, or are you? Well, you know. It, I don't. Th I think you got to go right at him. I, I mean, would think so too. You know, Naps, like you said, he's swinging a good bat. You know, you got a rookie up here. It's pulls it foul. One and one. Now I think in another year or so they'll be pitching around him.
I just don't know. Barnes can throw his fastball for strikes. I, I think he, you know, until you get to two strikes, you got to set on the breaking ball. Yeah, the one-one pitch, fastball. There he goes, right down the middle. So much for thinking. Mm -hmm. Thinking man's game, John. Well, not if you think wrong. <laughs> Alec Bohm is behind one and two with two runners on. Here at the bottom of the seventh inning, Phillies trail it by one. Inside, two and two. I think the thought is that there's a breaking ball. Yeah, coming. I mean, it's just. These are the toughest guys to hit, really, because you have no clue where he's throwing it. Well, maybe he'll try to throw the greatest breaking ball ever and bounce it. And JT will score and Didi will go to third and Alec will be at a base hit and we'll just go home. <laughs> well, we can't go home. We got another game. 2 2 pitch coming oh, down the right field line. Foul. He stayed over. with it. Feeling no matter what happens here, we won't see Barnes in game two. No. The count two and two, and the pitch coming. And a line drive, base hit into left field. One run is in. Here comes Dede. The throw to the plate is not in time. The Bills once again come from behind and win it. They do so in the bottom of the seventh inning, and they're jumping all over Alec Bohm. The rookie comes through again. 6-5, the final score in the seventh inning. He bailed him out again. He bailed him out again, Tom. And I tell you what, you talk about a rookie. Last inning, base hit and win the game. The, the quality of it bat he had right there is just, I mean, this kid is going to be some sort of special, Tom, and we're lucky to have him. He has four RBIs this afternoon, 15 for the year. Got a curveball and he didn't miss it. Remember what you said about the outfielders playing D? Yeah. Chavis, not an outfielder. Yeah, you talked about Didi's lead off the second, big lead. There's the hanger right there. Thing I like about Alec Bohm is Tom, he, he wasn't trying to lift that ball and hit it out of the ballpark. You got two strikes and two outs. Just put a good swing on it, and hope good things happen. And, not only good things happen, great things happen. Great base run by Didi, and there's our hero. And the Phillies needed a hero today. They had a 4-1 lead. They squandered that lead and win it 6-5 with two runs in the bottom of the seventh inning.